If you look at a, uh, a, a highly camouflaged animal, a, de a desert lizard, one that I use, it's got pebbles and sand all over its back. It's just a, a dummy painting of a desert on its back, okay? So um, that is a description of the world in which its ancestors lived. You can read that animal as a book describing the desert world in which its ancestors lived. Now that's an easy example because it's got it painted on its back. But it must be true right the way through every bit of the, every cell of the animal, every molecule of the animal has got the same uh, description written. And some of it is baggage. Baggage as in burdensome rather than... Yes, but... We have an appendix that can burst. That's true. You have a pinky toe. When was the last time you made good use of that? Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> the, the point is that natural selection is very, very fussy, is very, very um, intricate in its, in its choice, far more than we, we, we even know about. We are poor judges of what's important for survival. When you think that... The genes that survive, going back to the selfish gene, the genes that survive have to survive through lots and lots of different individuals and through a huge amount of geological time. And so any statistical estimate that you and I make about the likelihood that your pinky will be of any use to you is a statistical mistake. Natural selection is a much better statistician than, than we are. So I'd need to think harder about my pinky toe. <laughs>